In this video, I'm going to show you how to do insight hunting with queries. And basically, the idea is to get all the bits and pieces you've collected, all the um, quotes and comments and insights you've generated um, thinking through what you read into one place as you're um, collecting information to put into something you want to write. And the feature inside Rome that we're going to use for this is queries. Queries let you collect blocks from all over your database into any other place. They're basically like embedding on steroids, if you will. And the way they work is that you use syntax like here um, in these code blocks, but instead of putting it into a code block, you put them simply in any block and that will collect information. So how does that work? Um, you start with um, double curly brackets, um, then double square brackets, put the term query in there, followed by a colon, and then use and, or, or not, um, or any combination. I'm going to show you how that works in just a second. So as an example, let's say you want to collect all the mentions of example A and example B in one place. Um, you would write a query like this. So a query colon and um, again in curly braces um, and then Example A, this simple uh, page reference link, um, a um, empty space, and then example B also as a page reference. And what that looks like then is like this, right? So in the notes for uh, the course here, side to right, I have in, in the drafts section, um, a block examples with the children's um, with block children's that mention example A and example B and one that mentions example A and B and C, right? And if you look into the block itself, this is how it's written, right? It's the exact query as here in the code block, um, but if you put it in a normal block, it gets executed, if you will, and you um, get the actual result of the query instead of um, the code as up here. That is AND. But you can also do OR queries, right? So um, let's say you want to have all the mentions of example A or blocks that mention example D, right? So they don't have to be in the same block. Um, any block that mentions either of them um, can be uh, in there. And that is this query then, right? Instead of the and, you use the or. And then you have uh, the collection down here. Um, example A and B appears again, but also a block that says only example A is here and one that mentions example D as well, right? So this collects either of those blocks. Um, what you can also do is use a not query. So um, I don't want to uh, use a given thing. And that's very useful um, because the block here, example A or D, um, actually um, is written um, like this, right? So the, the block you see here is actually not just this query, but um, this query that I have in this code block. Why is that the case? Because um, if you do not use the not in that query, right, so you don't nest the um, or in an and query um, and exclude the, the query term itself, you get this, right? So this shows you the code where um, I mention those examples and the, the queries themselves, which is, um, of course, not very useful, right? So to clean that up a little bit, um, you can exclude the query term itself 
and that will um, help you in um, cleaning that up and also any other term you want to um, exclude you can use of course um, as well right so um, that is something that um, the people over at Rome Research are still working on this is at the moment kind of a janky solution um, they'll definitely improve that workflow uh, but for now it already works really well you kind of have to um, keep thinking a little bit how to do it properly but um, it it works and it's already very very powerful and let me show you why um, with those basics of how queries work out of the way um, I'm going to show you how to um, build that. First, what you need to do is you create a new page. I've called mine uh, Looking Glass and we'll go there in a second. And then you add a block with this query, right? So um, just in a normal block, so not in a code block, um, put in this query. You can pause the video here and um, type that in. Um, and Make sure you write the query into one line. So this indentation style that I show you here um, will not work. Um, what you have to do is you have to write it um, in one, li one line like I'm doing up here. Right? Um, and then I also suggest you star that page to make it appear in the left sidebar. So I can show you that. Uh, here is Looking Glass. Let's go there. Um, and here you see I have um, a query um, that collects all the mentions of Zettelkasten or knowledge management or writing, um, but not any query related terms where this might, um, that might otherwise be pulled up. And what this now does is it collects in one place all the mentions of writing, of Zettelkasten, um, of um, again writing settle custom I think there should be some um, note-taking knowledge management here right so uh, one of my random web finds um, so all the places where that where either of those terms is mentioned all under each other and this is super powerful right because usually um, if you go just to the term writing, then you have to filter here uh, by page and um, have to open that in the sidebar. And then as you jump from uh, place to place, you have to juggle the sidebar kind of as a stack, move things up and down and, and see what, what leads to what. But using this query syntax, you can get all of that in one place. And even, um, better is you can open this page also in the sidebar, right? So right now I have a uh, looking glass open in my right sidebar. Um, and if I go to the writing page, um, now it's uh, very easy to pull things um, in from the right um, into this page and, and continue some, some thinking here. What I can also do, of course, is I can edit um, right, so if I want to um, create children's uh, children blocks, comments, um, do some um, extra thinking, I can do that obviously in this uh, mode of pull together information um, as well. So um, this is, in my opinion, one of the best ways right now to do uh, synthesis in that you can simply collect um, all the information on a given topic in one place by writing queries. Queries um, are definitely something that Rome will get even better at in the future, but right now they're already super, super powerful. And I highly suggest um, that you use queries in um, your writing in your uh, synthesis for the things you're working on.